Hey, how's it going out there today? Over the past few months, I've had several comments about, hey, what do I do if there's a lake or a pond that doesn't have maps on it, that doesn't have maps available? Well, you know what, guys? Garmin's got you covered. They have what they call quick draw contours, and we're gonna go over that today and how to get started using them with a quick overview. So stay tuned, it should be interesting. Hey, before we get started today, I want to thank y'all. The uh, channel hit 1,500 subscribers. Uh, that's just incredible for the first eight months. Um, far exceeds what I expected. And I just want to thank y'all, and I've appreciated it. It's been, a, it's been a blast making these videos. All right, so quick draw contours. As you'll see in the video, there's a lot of detail. These are taken in one foot increments of depth and they're accurate and to me they actually show a little more detail than regular uh, just standard maps that come on your Garmin unit. Now for those of you with a striker unit you don't have maps and you don't have the capabilities for maps so you can also if you have I believe it's the chirp and the side view if you've got the those on your striker you should have quick draw contours so you can create your own maps and it'll store even on the strikers it'll store a lot of maps on an eco map a gs map you can store them on an sd card you can share them with the community so there's a lot of things you can do with these maps so in the video what you're going to see is i'm just driving around making a map you can fish while you're making these maps you know i'm not sure what the top speed is that you can go but you know you can be tooling around just beating the bank and be making a map all you got to do is hit that start recording you know you can do it while you're going so if you're on your favorite spot and you want to make a map of it that's possibly a little more detailed than what you already have be a good idea just start that recording and put it on there and then as you see in the video all you got to do is go to your layers and you can turn the the quick draw contours on or off you know it works really well guys uh, your waypoints show up on it it's just, it's a, it's a great tool. So, hey, let's go ahead and get started. And when you download to your active captain, it's going to ask you if you want to share this with the community. Um, because I have maps, I have some maps on this lake that uh, actually other people have mapped out for me. So, always turn that on because you never know that that uh, body of water you think you don't have any depth on you may actually have some information on that from somebody else who's already mapped it out let's go ahead and do a little bit more mapping menu quick draw contours okay you may be asking can i look at fish while i'm doing this let's find out There, got this map going and I'm still recording. Now you can see the edge here. I've already been along this. So let's move out a little bit. Now that sunlight's gonna start getting to you. Now when I'm doing this, I overlap or try to overlap about 50%. Try to give it as much information as I can. And it really doesn't take very long. You can move along fairly quick and you can leave this recording as you're fishing. I don't think there's any disadvantage to that if you were up on your trolling motor. Uh, like I say though, you want to do this when it's fairly calm, or at least I would think, because uh, it will throw your depths and your contours off if your boat's bouncing around a lot.
Now what's the fastest she could go? I honestly don't know. See there, it's telling me I'm getting pretty shallow. Whoops. Okay, so you may be wondering where, where did all that go? So you can go to your menu and go to layers and quick draw. Go back, back. And there's everything we just did. And you can see it shows what I think is more detail than the regular map when you go over it. So even if your body of water does have maps, you may want to go over it and get a little more detail with the quick draw contours. Well, let's look at that again. Menu, layers, take that off. You can see as it goes away, you're losing a lot of that detail that we had. Turn our quick draw back on. See quite a bit more detail, I think, anyway. Now, if you don't want to display your active tracks or your tracks display, you can turn those off right there. See, now you don't have all the lines buzzing around, if that bothers you. This at waypoint 145. So if you got anything hanging out on it. We marked it a couple of videos ago. Yeah, it's at 50 foot of water though. We've had a lot of rain lately. Well, I didn't see nothing there too much. Clear up that screen a little bit. That looks a little better at 73. If you notice your brightness is always going to default back to auto. So you have to adjust that when you first get out in the mornings. There's waypoint 144. Let's run over the top of that, see what we got. No, nothing. Okay, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Just a quick little rundown on the quick draw contour mapping you can do with your eco map unit. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. Let's get out on the water and have a great day.